Hey there. I have to get going really quick, uh, but I wanted to show you a quick trick before I do, something that you can go do today at the grocery store or a coffee shop, wherever you happen to be. Um, what you're going to do is when they give you your change back, you're going to take uh, one of the quarters out of your change and you say, ooh, um, do you have another one? This looks like this one's rubber. Uh, I can bend it. That's kind of strange. Have you seen something like that before? And when you go to drop it back on the counter for them to change it out, it's actually solid that it was never rubber to begin with. Um, that's a quick effect that you can do today. It's a lot of fun and I hope you try it. On with the explanation. So here's how to do the rubber coin um, quick trick that I just showed you. Uh, you take any coin, um, if it's your change, that works great. Um, like a quarter, a quarter works good because it's a big enough coin. If there happens to be a 50 cent piece, that'll work too. Um, but the bigger the coin usually, the better it works. You're going to hold it at your fingertips of both hands like this and what you're going to do, so I'm just holding it between the thumb and the index and the middle finger of each hand, you're going to bring the coin towards yourself and as you do your fingers cover and then as you bring it into view your fingers separate a little bit showing more of the coin so it looks like the coin is bending. And if done just kind of nonchalantly it looks good like it's a rubber coin. And then you can also hold it this way between the index finger and thumb of each hand, this way, kind of towards them. And it's the same thing. Your thumbs are going to close as your hands come up and then open, but it's really in the wrist. So it looks like the coin is bending um, when they see it. It looks like it's a, a rubber coin. You can even do the old pencil gag where you hold it up here and kind of wiggle it a little bit. It looks rubbery. Um, and then when you drop it on the counter or tap it on something hard, that's when it makes noise and they know that it's not rubbery. Um, it looks really good. I have a, a silver dollar here and that's the one that I often use it with is I'll do a coin roll and I say, look, this is actually really uh, no skill involved. The coin roll is actually because I cheat and use a rubber coin. You can bend the coin. And then when I hand it out, of course, it's solid. It's not a rubber coin. So that's a fun little trick that you can do uh, with a borrowed coin. I hope you try that one today because it's really easy. Just practice it in the mirror for a little bit, and I think you'll get a kick out of it. And people really freak out when you hand them the coin and it's solid. They just can't grasp how it was rubber. Um, Enjoy that one, and I will see you again. Have a great day.